It is genuinely infuriating to me that Republicans insist that Joe Biden is in favor of open borders. And once he became president, he opened the borders because his policies with regard to immigration are arguably as cruel as Trump's. Case in point, Jake Johnson of Common Dreams explains the Biden administration on Tuesday proposed a rule that immigrant rights groups, civil liberties organizations and some Democratic lawmakers condemned as an illegal attack on asylum seekers that resembles an inhumane policy pursued by former President Donald Trump. The new rule, unveiled by the Departments of Justice and Homeland Security, would assume that certain non-citizens who enter the United States without documents sufficient for lawful admission are ineligible for asylum. The proposed rule would encourage migrants to avail themselves of lawful, safe, and orderly pathways into the United States, or otherwise to seek asylum or other protection in countries through which they travel. The administration's summary of the rule states outlining conditions that broadly mirror a Trump-era transit ban that was ultimately blocked in federal court. Those who don't meet the more strict asylum eligibility requirements under the proposal would be subject to quick deportation. Now, the rule hasn't been adopted yet, but the Biden administration expects it to go into effect in May after a 30-day public comment period. Now, what makes this rule especially disgusting is that it looks a lot like Trump's transit ban, which the article laid out. But do you want to know who was behind Trump's transit ban, which a court blocked? White supremacist Stephen Miller. That's who the Biden administration is modeling their immigration policies after, presumably. It's just despicable. And it's so bad that Democrats are even condemning Joe Biden, including one former official from his administration. Democratic lawmaker Chuby Garcia writes, today's announcement by the Biden administration is a re-implementation of the Trump era policy that will ban people from requesting asylum, worsen conditions at the border, and return vulnerable people back to danger. POTUS must abandon this misguided policy now. Hashtag no asylum ban. And former Biden official Andrea Flores condemned the proposal on Twitter saying, when I joined the Biden administration, we cared about preserving access to asylum, not only because it was the law, but because we had evidence that banning new asylum seekers was not an operational solution to the challenge of irregular migration. Today, rather than make progress on addressing regional mass migration, the Biden administration has resurrected a transit ban that normalizes the white nationalist belief that asylum seekers from certain countries are less deserving of humanitarian protections. And she's exactly correct. Let me make this very clear. Seeking asylum is a human right. And it is unconstitutional to deny people the right to seek asylum. At least allow them to make their case. There's no guarantee that the U.S. government will accept it. But to not even let them make their case is deeply inhumane. And it's racist, quite frankly. Now, this isn't the first time in recent memory that Biden has pissed off his own party, which led to them surprisingly condemning him. For example, just last month, 77 Democrats signed an open letter condemning the Biden administration's cruel policies that limit the ability of migrants from Venezuela, Haiti, Nicaragua, and Cuba from legally migrating here. So in order to deal with the influx of migrants from these countries, he put caps on migration and put up more obstacles to them legally migrating here. So you can't have it both ways. You claim that they should migrate legally, but yet you make it more difficult for them to do that. So if they're fleeing violence, if they're fleeing an unstable political predicament, oftentimes because of our foreign policy, our militaristic policies in Latin America, then you have to allow them the ability to leave and apply for asylum. But the Biden administration is uh, not doing that. But this is predictable because this has been the status quo since Biden took over. Now, the silver lining is that this is so shamelessly unconstitutional that a court will very likely block it, or at least hopefully that will be the case. As NBC News explains, Kieran Zick, director of litigation at the National Immigrant Justice System, said that her group and partner organizations plan to work together again to fight any such rule, just as they fought the Miller version, referring to Steve Miller, and predicted that once again, the rule would not survive their legal challenge. If the proposed asylum ban rule does what we expect it to do, unlawfully deprive access to asylum based on manner of entry and or transit route, Zwick said, it would be invalid like the similar Trump administration rules that were found unlawful by federal courts. So here's hoping that a court blocks this rule as they did the similar Trump era rule, again, written by white supremacist Stephen Miller. Now, the more infuriating element of this story is that Mayorkas is pretending as if this isn't a transit ban. 
So they're doing the bad Trump era policies and then they're trying to gaslight everyone claiming mm, this isn't what it looks like. No, I think it's exactly what it looks like. And I've just got to go back to the GOP and the way that they claim that Biden supports open borders. This is evidence that Democrats need to stop being weenies. They need to actually grow spines and just do the humane policy because regardless of how cruel you are, they're still going to lie. They're still going to accuse you of being weak on immigration. They're accusing Biden of having open borders when he's re-implementing Trump era policies. So Democrats need to actually just do what's right. You see, the problem is that Biden isn't doing what's right, not because he's intimidated by Republicans, but because this is what he wants. These are the policies that he supports, which is why he's implementing it. And it's sad because Joe Biden is doing what Republicans want, but do you want to know who granted amnesty to millions of immigrants? Ronald Reagan. And yet he would be too extreme, too far left for even the Democratic Party in 2023 America. It goes to show you how cruel we've become and how we don't view people from other countries as equals, as human beings. It's just despicable. And we have no concern for their well-being. Again, after we, our foreign policies, destroyed their countries. Don't care. Doesn't matter. We're not going to clean up the mess that we made. We're just going to block them and um, wish them luck. Not even wish them luck. Give them the finger as we turn away their asylum requests. It's genuinely sickening. But this is predictable because um, Biden has been doing this since he took office. Oh, man.